So welcome back, physicists and Earth space scientists, continuing on with the astronomical uh, cycles achievement standard, looking at the relationships between the Earth, Moon and Sun systems. And today we're exploring the Earth's latitudes and how they affect the weather, uh, day-night cycles in terms of the longitude at least, and the seasons in combination. So the first thing is, well, what's a longitude and a latitude? What do these words mean? So longitude essentially measures how far east or west you are on Earth. And it's all based from the prime meridian, that's um, zero degrees of longitude. And it runs through Greenwich, England, for historical reasons, which are quite interesting to research. Uh, latitude, it measures how far north or south you are from the equator. And basically, these two values uh, determine the position you are on the globe. So think of them as the east-west and north-south coordinates on a global map. So in terms of the climate or weather patterns at different latitudes, we'll first look at the tropics. Okay, so on uh, the Earth, you have the equator there, and 23.5 degrees in the northern hemisphere is known as the Tropic of Cancer. And then going down from the equator again and going south, we have the Tropic of Capricorn, which is 23.5 degrees south. Now in terms of the weather, it's basically hot and humid all year round, and you see intense sunlight, frequent rain and thunderstorms, tropical rainforests uh, basically thrive here, and there's little variation between the seasons, basically a dry and a wet season. And the reason why, you can see from the image there, is the these positions are where you get the most uh, direct sunlight from the sun. So it's going to be really hot. You're going to essentially get 90, 90 degrees angle hitting the surface. So with intense sunlight, you get increased uh, rates of evaporation. So you're going to get more cloud formation, and then those clouds are going to drop um, the water in the form of rain and thunderstorms. Then we have the mid-latitudes. That's where we are. So that's going to be between the Tropic of Cancer and the poles, uh, at least in the northern hemisphere, northern pole, and the Tropic of Capricorn in the south and the um, south pole. And there's going to be four distinct seasons. You've got spring, summer, autumn, or winter, which we experience in New Zealand, uh, longer daylight hours in summer, and they're going to be shorter in winter for reasons already outlined in previous lessons. And it's more temperate, so it's going to be between, say, minus 10 degrees Celsius and say 30 degrees Celsius, more manageable temperatures uh, for life. And again, the reason for that is you're going to have a lower angle uh, of the light hitting the surface. So you're going to have less, less uh, light intensity uh, per unit area. So the temperatures are going to be slightly decreased. So in terms of the poles, of course, the, the North Pole, the Arctic, and the South Pole, uh, the Antarctic, you're going to get extremely cold conditions. Okay, so essentially what you've got is that for half the year, you're going to have a polar day with continuous daylight during the summer, uh, and then the polar night in wintertime, where it's going to be uh, basically six months of darkness. So you're going to get lots of icebergs, glaciers, and frozen landscapes, because it's going to be so cold. And basically the seasons are your light and your dark, your day and your night. Uh, dramatic shifts in those six months between the light and the darkness. Of course, you're not really getting, you're basically getting uh, the sunlight, as you can see from the diagram, um, during summer, and then nothing uh, when it's uh, the axis, uh, the tilt uh, of the Earth is away, the axis. So in terms of day-night cycles and longitude this time, not latitude, as the Earth spins round, you get different longitudes experiencing sunrise and sunset at different times, obviously. This is why we have uh, different time zones. And the longitudinal effect of that is that the further east you go, the earlier the sun will rise, and the further west, the sun, later, later the sun will set. And that's broken down into ideas around the solstice and the equinox. So a solstice basically occurs twice a year when the sun reaches its highest point in the sky during summer and winter. So looking at the southern hemisphere, there are two solstices annually. So southern hemisphere, which is obviously opposite in the northern hemisphere, we have the winter solstice between June 20th and 22nd. And then that's going to be when the day has the least sunlight. So we're going from the shortest days now as the day begins to lengthen as we move into summer. And we have the summer solstice, which is December 20th and 22nd in the sun and hemisphere. And that's when you're going to have the longest day, and then the days start to shorten as we go into winter. And finally, we have the equinox. 
and that's when the sun crosses the Earth's equator, appearing directly above. So it's going to be the sun is basically uh, arising uh, due east and setting due west. And that happens in the southern hemisphere on the 20th of March. And this is known as the autumnal equinox. And on the 23rd of, this, of September is the spring equinox. And that's basically where you're going to have 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of uh, night uh, during those times. And conversely, in the southern hemisphere, it's the opposite way around. 20th of March is going to be the spring equinox and the September will be the autumnal. So just to summarize, in terms of seasonal changes and latitude, so basically the seasons, as we already know from previous lessons, is a result of the axial tilt of 23.5 degrees, but the longitudinal effect, or lat sorry, latitudinal effect, um, is that the tropics have little seasonal variation, just dry and wet seasons. Middle latitudes is what we have, we have the four clear seasons, summer, winter, spring and autumn, and in the poles you've got that extreme seasonal contrast of basically 12 hour, uh, 24 hours of darkness uh, during winter time and 24 hours of sunlight uh, during summer.